Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I got this eye look and I just did kind of a purple iridescent color smoked out with some neutral browns through the crease. I really love doing a look incorporating purple because purple really makes all eye colors just really stand out and just pop so I love incorporating kind of an iridescent purple um, into an eye look and hopefully by the time I do the actual voiceover to this I won't sound like this anymore. <laughs> I'm kind of getting over a cold or something right now so anyways Hopefully I'll sound better when I do that voiceover. Um, other than that, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy this video. Bye! Yay! So I do sound and feel much better <laughs> than I did when I actually filmed this video. So I went ahead and primed my eyelids. Next I'm going in with my um, Tarte Rainforest After Dark eyeshadow um, and cheek palette. And I just grabbed kind of that neutral palish brown color and just a big fluffy brush. And I'm just kind of first of all warming up and blending this in my crease. Um, this is how I start most of my looks, just kind of to get things warmed up and going. And then I'm grabbing that dark matte brown color. It's a pretty, like, cool tone brown, um, but any just, like, dark brown color will work just fine. And then I'm grabbing this brush that's a teeny bit more dense, still fluffy, but a little bit more dense than the last one. And I'm concentrating um, just that dark brown color. I'm just kind of concentrating it a little bit more right in that crease, and I'm putting it in... A little bit more precisely than I was with that original lighter brown color and then just kind of blending things out with that original blending brush I'm just kind of getting the crease to the depth that I want it so then to really make my um, eyelid stand out I'm gonna go ahead and prime it a little bit more with my Jordana eyeshadow pencil that just, just um, I think it's in the color continuous almond and it will just kind of make the pigment that we're going to use just really stand out and pop and um, just stay on your eyelid really, really well. So I'm just blending that in with my finger. So then for the actual purple, I'm using this uh, Wet n Wild palette. It was really, really affordable. You can pick it right up at like the drugstore. And I'm using my finger to put this on just because that will give you just, I mean, it really like holds all of the pigments together and it'll just transfer it and give you like the best pigmentation when you use your finger for um, like for doing this step specifically. And this, I love this purple. It's just such a like an iridescent, like bluish purple. So I just kind of packed that onto my eyelid and then I did go in with a brush just to kind of get into those corners where my finger doesn't blend it out and like doesn't fit in that teeny little corner very well. So I did grab this brush and dip that in that purple um, and I'm just kind of intensifying that color even a little bit more and just really putting it like up into that crease kind of blending it right where I want it and then going back in with that darker brown and that blending brush and just kind of blending the purple with those browns in my creases so that nothing is too harsh or anything like that and then this is just kind of the steps it's kind of like you go back forth back forth between those colors to kind of build it up blend it out build it up blend it out and then I'm just going to um, line my eyelids like normal. I'm using my NYC Black Liquid Liner. And it's really hard for me to do this on camera, so I try and include like a few little shots of me doing it. But for the most part, I just skip like, kind of over this. But I'll show you. I am doing it just kind of like a thinnish line over my um, eyelid. And then I do wing it out pretty much every day. When in doubt, wing it out. <laughs> so I just did a wing at the end and thickened that up. And then I'm also just lining my um, upper waterline, I guess tight lining that upper waterline area. And this helps so, so much with any kind of dramatic look. Um, this will just really deepen up your eyelashes and make them look a lot thicker. So then I'm going in with this CoverGirl mascara. I really, really love this. Um, I think it really does a, a great job. It helps my lashes stay curled and gives them a lot of volume. But with a look like this, I am actually going to go in with some false lashes here in just a minute. But um, I do love this mascara, and that's one I would recommend. Okay, next I'm going in with these false lashes. These are really um, pretty thick and clumpy, and I don't know, I really like a really thick lash, so that's what I went in for with this look. So I'm just showing you a little clip of me popping those on. Okay, so then I'm moving to my lower waterline, and I just primed it to begin with, and then I'm going in with that same iridescent purple color. Um... And then I'm just kind of blending this along my whole lower lash line. I just use a really small detailing brush to do this. Um, just so that it stays nice and precise right where I want it. Okay, now I'm going to contour my nose a little bit. And I'm just grabbing that bronzer color from that same palette that I've been using, the Tarte one. And I'm going to use just kind of this big fluffy eyeshadow brush and just run a little bit of that bronzer down the sides of my nose. And then I'm going to go in with the highlight color just from that palette again. 
and do a little bit of highlighting. I highlighted down the center of my nose and then also a little bit on my cheekbones and I put a little bit right on my cupid's bow and then to finish off my look like always with a setting spray. Thank you so so much for watching. Happy spring and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Thank <laughs> you.